And like I said, we don't give a damn how nobody feel, man. We're going to tell you exactly what God said, all right? The Lord said if he be for us, can't nobody be against us, all right? So we're going to do his work, regardless of how anybody feel or any hatred that might arise in somebody's heart because of the word of God. Go ahead. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him when he is about to fill his belly. Right when he's about to fill his belly. You guys have seen it. You've seen this New World Order thing going on right now. What is, what is the white man telling you by saying he's coming with a New World Order? He's telling you he's about to put you Negroes and Hispanics in slavery again and, and kill 500 million people on the planet Earth. All right? God's saying that's not going to happen. Go ahead. God. God shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he's eating. This is why we say we come out every week to tell you what's going to happen before it happens out the mouth of the Heavenly Father, all right? And he's telling you what he's getting ready to do to you guys as soon as he's, as soon as he's ready to fill his belly, all right? Go ahead. Verse 24. No, no, no. Oh, we're going to go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Verse 24. He shall flee from the iron weapon. The iron weapon is the nuclear missiles, all right? The ICBMs, intercontinental ballistic missiles. Those are written of in the Holy Bible. This was written thousands of years before there was ever a missile, but it's in here. That's how we know that this book is telling the truth, and that's how we know that these prophecies are going to happen, all right? Go ahead. And the bow of steel shall strike him through. So this white man, he got all these nuclear, all these nuclear missiles that the Lord had him make. He doesn't even understand that he don't even control them, man. The Lord had him make them so that he can fire them off when he's ready for them to be shot. Go ahead. Fine. Fine. And, and not before that, all right? Go ahead. Verse 25, it is drawn and cometh out of the body, right. yea, the glittering sword cometh out of his gall, right. terror are upon him. Terrors are upon him, man. That's why we have a war on terror. You probably didn't know that terror was in the Holy Bible first, but this white man knows that God is the king of terrors and God is on his ass. So you got that little look on your face, tell your white boy that, all right? Go ahead. God. Verse 26. All the darkness shall be hid in his secret places. A fire not blown shall consume him. A fire not blown shall consume him. This is all talking about thermonuclear missiles, all right? It said it comes out of his body. When you look at a, a missile coming up out of his ground, it's coming out of his body, out of his gall, all right? The Bible uh, uh, is using uh, specific terms for the nuclear missile, all right? Go ahead. Fine. It shall go ill with him that is left in his tabernacle. Well, Con, verse 27. The heavens shall reveal iniquity, and the earth shall rise up against him. Right. And that's what's happening right now. The earth is rising up against this devil. Everybody's starting to look at the wickedness of this man, man. Everybody knows that this is the devil, the deceiver on the planet earth. Let me get you up to the 21st chapter. Con, verse um, 16 to 20. This is the book of Job, chapter 21, verse 16. Lo, their good is not in their hands. Right. The counsel of the wicked is far from me. The Lord said the counsel of the wicked is very, very, very far from him. It doesn't matter how many churches you got, the counsel of the wicked is far from the Lord. This white boy picture of Jesus Christ, that's not Jesus. The huh. Bible never said he looked like that. But the Bible does tell you what he looks like, and will tell you if you come up, all right? Go ahead. Verse 17. How oft is the candle of the wicked put out? Right. And how oft cometh their destruction upon them? Right. God disturbeth sorrow in his anger. He said the Lord d distributes sorrow in his anger, man. So the Lord, it's all good. When the Lord gets mad, he, 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 he's throwing out sorrows to you, all right? And he's saying that the wicked, they got sorrows to deal with, all right? This white man put hell on the planet Earth, but he didn't understand that he has a judgment written in this Bible, too, all right? He doesn't understand that us coming over here in slavery was a judgment that was written in the Holy Bible. And the same way that judgment happened to us, your guys' judgment is going to happen to you too. But the Lord's being fair because he wanted you to know about it before it dropped on you. That's why we're out here, all right? So you can't say he didn't let you know, all right? Go ahead. Verse 18. They are a stubble before the wind. Didn't we read about stubble? Didn't we read about stubble in Obadiah the eight, the, uh, uh, 1 and 18? It says that J Jacob was going to be a fire, Joseph would be a flame, and Esau would be for stubble, all right? Stubble in the wind is nothing. That's like burnt ash flying in the wind, all right? It gets blown away. Go ahead. And as chaff that the storm carrieth away, right? 
God lays up his iniquity for his children. That's what, isn't that what we've just been saying? These people don't understand that the white man did all that wickedness and they think they got away with it, but God said he stores up his iniquity for his children, all right? Matter of fact, give us Lamentations 5 and 7, all right? Because that's what happened to us. Our foreparents broke the commandments of God, and here we are bearing their iniquities, all right? It's the exact same thing. The white man's forefather did all the wickedness in the world. God said his children have to pay for that. That's Don't look right. at me, stupid. Don't be mad at me. That's what the Bible said. Huh. For real. Yeah. Bring that out. I That's the you. book of Lamentation, chapter 5, verse 7. Our fathers have sinned and are not. The Bible said that our fathers have sinned and are not. They're not here anymore. Go ahead. And we have borne their iniquity. But we have borne their iniquities, all right? That's what happened. It's the exact same thing. Your guys' forefathers sinned and are not. You guys bore their iniquities, man. So just get ready for it. This is what the Lord said. Period point blank. What's up? You will curse him while I'm over. What do you say? You will curse him, curse him. The Bible says, though I be rude in speech, yet not in knowledge, man. Our people are being shot down every day by the police. And you got something that got nerve to say something about me saying a cuss word? If you think, God, you think God's mad at me for saying all these Edomites are going to die, you must be crazy. This is in the Bible, man. Go ahead. It's crazy how these motherfuckers, you can't say motherfucker, but the police can kill your people. Well, just the other day, another 12-year-old boy got killed. Being outside playing with his gun. Playing with a toy gun, the police came and killed him. See, white people don't have to worry about shit like that. That's the shit that happens to the people of God when the devil's in control, all right? Come. But the reason why we're saying this now is because all this, all the fun and games is over with, all right? The white man's lies are over with. Come. And I'll say it again, Jesus is not white. That's right? right! And if Jesus is not white, everybody knows Jesus is black. If Jesus is black and he's a Jew, then that means the Jews are black too. Oh, A, B, C, one, two, three, all right? And another thing, the Bible said the Jews will not be back in the land until Jesus comes and puts them there. So who the hell, who the hell are those white people over there? Why well, one of you guys tell me that? Go, right. go get a preacher to come in, uh, and, and come deal with that. Matter of fact, go get one of those fake durable witnesses down there who don't understand the Bible at all. All right? <laughs> when, you, when you guys explain to me, why do you have a picture of white Jesus in your book? I want to know from that black dude down there. You answer the question, man. Go ahead. Verse 8. Servants have ruled over us. It says servants have ruled over us. Because in the whole big scheme of things, we're not, we're, we, we're supposed to have servants, all right? We weren't supposed to be made to serve. When you read the scripture about uh, 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 the blessing that Jacob got, it said, let your, uh, your uh, mother's children bow down to you, all right? It said, let people serve you. But so, read that again. Right. Verse 8, servants have ruled over us. Right, so the people that are supposed to be servants are the ones that the Lord is allowing to rule over us, all right? That's what the Lord does. That's how he gets there. You guys don't want to do what I say? All right, I'm going to put the people who are supposed to be your servants over you and see how you like it. But go ahead. Come on. There is none that, slock you. There is none that doth deliver us out of their hand. Right. There's nobody that can deliver us out of this man's hand. And that's the reason why the very first scripture we read was to deliver me from the hands of the wicked who is thy sword. All right. Here we are sitting here in this man's land. Like we say, the police can shoot us down all day long. Ain't nobody about to help us out, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we were over here slaves in America for 400 years. Didn't, know, didn't, didn't nobody grab their army and say, let's go get those guys out of slavery? But all you guys will say slavery is so wrong. Well, none of your name, you came over from China. China didn't fly over here to, to, to get us out of slavery. Neither did the Japan, uh, Japanese, neither did the Arabs, or the stinky Africans who sold us, all right? Come! Go ahead. Done. Verse 9. We get our bread with the peril of our lives because of the sword of the wilderness. Verse 9, verse 10. Our uh, uh, lamentation. Oh no, that's okay. My bad. I didn't know things would be that good after that. <laughs> Go back to what you had, Joe. I think we were at uh, 21, 16, somewhere. Come on. This is the book of Job, chapter 21, verse 18. They are as stubble before the wind, right. and as chaff that storm carries away. Right. God lays up his iniquity for his children. So you see what the Lord said? This is how the Lord works. He said he lays up your iniquity for your children. So you better think about it when you do wrong, because your children get it. The white man, he's wicked. He didn't think nothing about that. Go ahead. He rewarded him, and he shall know it. Right. Verse 20. His eyes shall see his destruction, right. and he shall drink of the wrath of the Almighty. Well, the same way we had to drink the wrath of the Almighty, that's why we're not in our own land, that's why we're over here right now. 
The Bible's saying that the white man's getting ready to have to drink of the same damn cup, all right? So whether you guys believe in the Bible or not, the Lord had us come out here so that you could hear what his words say, whether you believe it or not. You still had to hear it, all right? Is there more on that? If there's not, just go, uh... Verse 21? Yeah. No, no, no. Uh, go to Job 21. Uh, no, jump down to verse 27. Done. 27 through 32. Done. This is the book of Job, chapter 21, verse 27. Behold, I know your thoughts and the devices which ye which ye run and the devices which ye wrongfully imagined against me. See what the beautiful thing is about the God of Israel? Is that he's the only true God on the planet Earth. I don't care you That's got, right. you want to worship Buddha or whoever the hell you worship. The God of Israel is the only true God. That's oh, right. Listen to what he just said. Read. Bring that out, huh? Read that again. Come on. Behold. All right. There's the book of Job, chapter 21, verse 27. Amen. Behold. I know your thoughts. The Lord said he knows every one of your thoughts. It don't matter if you believe the Bible or not. He said he knows your thoughts. Go ahead. God. And the devices which ye wrongfully imagine against me. He said he knows the devices that you wrongfully imagine against him. You guys ain't playing no game with the Lord, man. All oh, you can laugh, you can joke, you can think it's a game all you want. This is not a game, and the joke is on you, man. God. Go ahead. God. Verse 28. For ye say, where is the house of the prince? Go ahead. And where are the dwelling places of the wicked? Right. Have ye not asked them that, that go by the way? And do ye not know their tokens? Right. That the wicked is reserved to the day of destruction. So what the Lord is saying is that he'll let the wicked prosper. They can have big houses and all that. But what he's doing is he's reserving them for the day of destruction. He wants to make sure that they're here to do something to them, man. Go ahead. God. Day shall be brought forth to the day of wrath. Right. Who shall declare his ways to his face? Right. And who shall repay him what he hath done? The Lord said he's going to declare his way to his face and he's going to repay him for what he did. See, that white boy thinks it's a game right now. He's not going to be able to walk around and be a faggot for too much longer up and down the streets. All that's that going to be over with, man. Pop him in in the butt, run around just doing whatever the hell you want. God's not with that and we don't care who got something to say about it? All right? We're going to arrive with what the Lord say, period, point blank, man. Go ahead. Verse 32. Yet shall he be brought to the grave and shall remain.